Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to my reading room. Okay, today I'm being uh, long past the uh, uh, March Nursery Madness reading update. Uh, I did uh, get some books done, that I just, but I just didn't get the uh, videos made during the day because of different things. Uh, I have, I have, I did finish uh, two books during uh, during this time. I'm halfway through another one, and I'm about to start another one. Okay, so it was it will be two weeks tomorrow that I finished. Uh, shoot. Okay. Trying to get the glare off there. Who's, well, it's Whose Body by Dorothy L. Sayers. And uh, it's a uh, first book in the Lord Peter Williams. You have. You have. You have the first uh, book in the Lord Peter Whimsy uh, uh, series. And. Uh, this this is a book and this one I have uh, read this one for the second prompt which is uh, 999 and uh, which is, is a British mystery. Uh, this one I was confused at first did it uh, because just the way some of the characteristics of Lord Peter Rimsey, I'd say, there was like with that, that got, made me confused for a while. But after a while, I got used, I got used to it, and uh, that, and I really liked the uh, book. It, but it's uh, about uh, see what it is. He gets a call. He's he does uh, try solving uh, mysteries uh, on his own, and uh, this is not one, uh, but he does. But uh, uh, in this story, uh, he gets a call from his mother, who, uh, who uh, told him, tells him she goes um, to uh, such and such a uh, place to you because. Uh, to somebody uh, from her church, and uh, he gets there. Okay, the police have already gone through there, but uh, they haven't uh, removed the body yet. But uh, uh, somebody lets him in, like that guy that lives there knows him, let, lets him in, and it's in the bathroom. Oh, it's a uh, dead body in the bathtub. They don't know whose body it is and stuff, and uh, so in the book they work on figuring that out and how it got there and who was murdered. And uh, this, uh, like I said, it's a good book. It's uh, the first book of the series, so I'll leave out the links for all the books I talk about down below, and also uh, the. Uh, 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 so without them being in the public, public domain, I'll include the, uh, uh, the uh, I'll include a link to the, uh, the book. Okay, so after that one, uh, the next book is uh, okay. It's uh. Uh, this is for prop number three, Nine Wise. Uh, this is uh, oh, a picture of a cat on a cover. You can see the picture of the cat, how it's hanging there, like it's in the news. But uh, it's uh, The Cat's Paw by Natalie Sumner Lincoln. It's the uh, first book I've ever read of hers. And, uh, 
that was pretty good. It takes place in Washington, D.C. in the early 1920s. And uh, that, uh, a, a lady gets uh, murdered uh, by somebody came to see her when uh, she was along uh, her niece that or the niece that usually lives with that uh, lives with her, but uh, she went away to a cousin's uh, place for uh, for a day or two, and uh, it happened after she left. And so, uh, but there's a group of bunch of characters in there that they're investigating, and I should say this is far towards a high society like type of uh, uh, stuff. And, so the police are trying to figure out uh, who, you know, which of the various characters in it uh, was the murderer and uh, how it was done and everything. So, uh, and uh, like I said, I like that book. And uh, see, I finished that this morning. I also read some more of uh, my uh, book. Uh, which is uh, for prop number nine, which is the uh, uh, or since this is my read along to you, I I know I haven't posted anything on my Discord page yet. On it. This is that's a dead letter by uh, Edda Victoria Fuller Victor. Uh, it's about the guy that's working that was working at, works in the dead letter office. This book's from. 1867, I think I remember right. But uh, this book is, uh, it's about a guy that's working in a dead letter office, like at, at the post office, and he uh, gets, a, uh, gets one that's addressed to somebody, a buddy in the town where he used to work and live, and uh, he uh, tells the story, and uh, uh, or, uh, the, let's see, he was trying to be a lawyer, and the lawyer he was uh, working for uh, uh, lived in, it, in this town, and his oldest daughter is engaged to be married by a guy who had from a well to do family. And this guy comes in like every, uh, every weekend uh, because. Uh, He's uh, uh, he's busy with uh, working TV and, and stuff, and uh, he comes in on a train from New York City, and this is uh, somewhere else in New York State. And uh, but anyway, he comes in by train, and uh, and they were expecting him on the on the night guard story and everything, and. Uh, uh, he never shows up, never got any uh, communication from him, and so uh, they're uh, concerned. And the next morning, the uh, police comes and uh, gets uh, the lawyer and uh, this, the one that's working for him for coming in to see it. And they this at Aaron's body, and uh, they're trying to figure out uh, who did it, and uh, the one. I uh, want that 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 training to be a lawyer. Uh, he is, is goes to New York City. He gets hires a uh, a detective, and uh, he helps the detective out at times because he's uh, he is this uh, is determined to uh, find the murderer, the murderer, and. Uh, and so it goes between the two different t New York City and the town that they're in. And, uh, and it's a good book. Uh, uh, I, yes, I like it. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't have done it for as a uh, read along. And then uh, the book I'm about to start. You notice I have uh, prompts. Uh, one, two, and three uh, 
but uh, that's what Trump's for. I've, uh, uh, and to, the Netflix from this uh, uh, from this uh, book, this is a mega pack. I like to use mega packs uh, for like uh, both the Kindle and the book. Uh, uh, it's a uh, it's collections sometimes by uh, the, uh, the several who are from the same authors. Others are like ones by different authors that they all have themes to them. That, but this is the first R. Austin Freeman uh, Mega Pack. That's the author, and the book I'm reading is, uh, uh, and you notice it says 27 uh, classic mystery tales of Dr. Thorndike and others. Well, this Dr. Thorndike is uh, a medical doctor uh, turned forensic scientist. This is the first book in the series, so I figured it would qualify. And uh, like I said, the book, the uh, book itself is in the public domain. And that, that I'm reading the first that, that book in it. It's in two parts. I think it was because they were like originally. Uh, in periodicals, so, and uh, the uh, book is called The Red uh, Thumb Warp. I don't know much else about it. I don't really like to go and knowing more, much about the books anyway. And so, uh, that's what I'm about to start reading. So, and I'll be also uh, read, and between the two, I'll probably read some more of the uh, of the dead letter, and so, and I think I, okay, uh, well, that's all I have for this time around, I'll, so, uh, so until next time, take it easy, and keep on reading.